Hey YouTube, welcome to RV Daydream, and today I'm going to talk about something. I wanted to spread this information as quickly as possible, so let's get to it. What have you been up to? I've been riding on a daydream. So you guys know we do have a travel trailer. A lot of you do. A lot of our subscribers, but there might be a lot of people that don't realize that. Uh, this is a 2020 Rockwood uh, 2604 WS. Uh, this weighs out about 8,800 pounds when it's fully loaded, and when we tow it, we're around 7,800 pounds. Not a very heavy trailer, and not a very long trailer. Everything is under 30 foot from the uh, tip of the ball, well, don't count the ProPride hitch that's hanging off the front, to the bumper in the back. We're at like 29 feet and I think it's 9 inches, 11 inches, uh, let's just say 30 to make things easy. And we've run into a situation a couple times uh, with our old RV that we had, which was a very low setting RV, the older RVs that set so low, um, that uh, whenever you were in a site that was front to rear um, at a slope, uh, you could only drop the front of the trailer so far. Uh, for it to level out. Um, that is if the slope dropped off. And uh, you'll find that a lot of campgrounds, if you're camping near a lake or a reservoir or something, you know, we like to find water features to camp next to. Um, you might find that front to rear problem to where the uh, slope, the pad slopes down as you back in even further. But you can only lower the front so far to level it out. So what you have to do is actually raise the RV and you've got to do that by putting blocks of wood, stacking wood. We've done that in the past. I've done videos on that. And then at that point, you have enough height that you can now lower the front to get it level. So what we've done in the past, like I say, with blocks of wood, that's the way we've always done it. However, we decided to go ahead and step up, try to get away from the wood. We still carry the wood with us, but try to get away from it and get into a leveler. So I got online like everybody does, did the YouTube thing, read a couple forms and everybody kept on talking about the Anderson levelers. The Anderson levelers have been around for a while. They look nice. They have great marketing. Um, I, I just went and ordered a set. I thought this is the way to go. Now we only ordered one set. That's two levelers because I wanted to see what they were like. I just wanted to get them in my hand and feel them. I was impressed. Very nice levelers. I didn't see anything wrong with them. A little high on the price, but still I didn't find anything wrong with them. So we ordered them. We got them within a couple days. They were Amazon Prime. So in a short amount of time, we decided, wait a minute, we should buy another set of levelers because these are only going to work for if you're leveling side to side. Um, if you're trying to get the, tr the camper up in the air um, all the way around, um, the best thing to do, obviously, is have you know two sets of levelers for all four tires. And we decided to order that. However, again, I was kind of like, eh, they're a little pricey, but let's go ahead and look. I mentioned it to my wife, Heidi, um, and she got with me and she goes, hey, do you know anything about this other company? It's called Beach Lane. I don't know anything about Beach Lane. I've never really heard of Beach Lane. Uh, did, she did a little bit of research and she said, you know, we can get these same levelers. They're not Amazon Prime, but they are Amazon. And she says there's a delay in the shipping. It's not that, you know, prime two-day shipping. She says, but from what I can see, it's it's not that bad. And she goes, and they're cheaper. And she says, everything in the verbiage says that they're better. I'm like, eh, okay, well, let's go ahead and get them. You know, we're not in a rush. We'll, we'll see what they're like. So we got them in, and I was kind of surprised. And that's what this video is about. I'm going to compare the two real quick as far as just first thoughts and everything about it. So let's get into it. Anderson Leveler on the right. You guys seen the bag. You've seen that. that and Beach Lane on the left. What Beach Lane is advertising is that their leveling block is tested to handle 35,000 pounds. And one of the interesting things that they showed on their website was basically this leveling, you know, block itself intact with another brand that was black and the Anderson brand, I would assume because it was this color, and they were broke. And they said they both went under the same test and this one could handle up to 35,000 pounds. Okay, that's interesting. I'd have to have them in my hand to figure out why. I got them. I understand why now.
So I get the same kit. Uh, basically, you have uh, two levelers, you have the wheel chalks, and then you have two rubber pads, and then the carrying bag. Now, for whatever reason, this carrying bag, although it looks identical to that carrying bag, it's got to be bigger because it doesn't take anything for me to stick these in here. I have compared the two side by side, and as far as the size in that, they are as close to identical as you're going to get. You're going to see that there's a little bit more height, just slightly more height advantage with the Anderson. I'll move this out of the way. Um, but, I mean, it's so minor. It really is. And that's going throughout the whole thing as far as the the length all that so you would think with this one being slightly smaller dimensions and I mean slightly again you can see the comparison here what it looks like between the two I mean there's there's hardly any comparison that the bigger this one here would obviously weigh more well it doesn't that's what this scales here for so let's go ahead and put this on here let it zero out unscientific it's a decent scale but it's not on a flat level perfect situation but we'll get the idea here four pounds 2.9 ounce so now we'll put the beach lane up here five pounds 15.4 ounce that's a substantial difference okay so now we've got the wheel chalk itself you can see there's a four grid square reinforcement we're at 13.3 ounces. The wheel chalks, I should compare those in size also. You can see here, the wheel chalk in the Anderson is slightly bigger. It's got a slightly larger footprint, but again, it's very, very minor. Just, you can see this, the little bit of difference there. However, even though this one is bigger in size, because of this one having all this extra reinforcement, one pound 0.5 ounce so one pound for this that is a difference so one of the biggest differences i think is basically the whole situation here and on the largest hole you can see there's some sort of a an enclosure on both sides and then these are all open they go all the way through i don't know if you can see that but they go all the way through and as far as the beach lane well guess what you have that same large opening but you have this cross support on both sides and every one of these, every single one of these, it, they're solid. They're solid all the way through. So they've got some holes in them, and they are for lightening, uh, you know, making them a little bit lighter. But still, um, overall, this is heavier and more reinforced than that Anderson. Now, you don't normally want a lot of weight whenever you're doing anything with your RV. You want light weight. However, in this situation, this is the one I want. Um, the amount of size difference that there is between the two is so minor, I don't know how anybody can make a great argument about that. I, I really don't. Um, you know, once you rock up on it, you're, it's either going to level it or it's not. Again, if you need some extreme height, you're still going to most likely be using a block or a plank of wood um, in addition to this to get it up on and higher and I'm talking about extreme situations but it happens it does happen I'm putting the links in the description for the beach lane so what's the biggest takeaway with these if this breaks lifetime if this breaks lifetime I'm that's good enough for me I mean that's definitely good enough for me that's good enough for everybody the other thing is uh, takeaways um, remember this bag it's a little bit easier for all this to go back in the bag let me show you that the Anderson you can see it's a really tight fit it's kind of like uh, you know a jigsaw puzzle to some extent I tried to stack them in different ways and put them in in different ways and I I just couldn't seem to make them fit any other way than the way they were sent to me uh, this one here was sent with these out of the bag and um, the bag was included of course that in the link I'm going to include the link that has not just the levelers only which you can buy just the levelers and the wheel chalks. But this one's going to have this complete setup.
and the bag was separate and I'm like oh great here we go I, I gotta see how these things go in and like my grandma would have called it just all willy-nilly you just throw them in there I mean there's plenty of room I mean there's there's it's solid I mean it wouldn't make noise as much I guess um, I guess that's a point but I want to just be able to throw them in there especially when they're dirty and that I don't want to be messing around with them any more than I have to so definitely definitely between the two cheaper rated higher lifetime warranty the bag is easier to use this is the way to go between the two there's just no comparison and quite honestly I haven't got to the point where I need the bright orange and I'll have to say that there may be people that need bright orange well spray paint will take care of that just spray paint them if you want them a bright yellow or some other color the reason that they're that bright color is so you don't leave them behind when you leave the campground those stand out you see them these maybe not so much I'm not quite that way yet not to mean I don't forget stuff <laughs> but I'm not going to forget to close this out <laughs> so the uh, links are down below please click the links in the description and that'll send you right to the kit that I just showed you from Beach Lane I appreciate it guys and as always we hope to see you out there bye <music>